Hi guys, uh, today I want to show you how to uh, manually back up your files and folders in Windows uh, specifically if you're moving to a new operating system but it's also a good thing to know and to do um, probably on a monthly basis on top of your uh, Windows backups. Uh, the reason why is because uh, if you're in Windows 7 or 8, uh, Windows Backup and Restore um, is only really good if you're sticking with Windows. If you need to access that single backup file uh, from another, another operating system, it can be very difficult um, to get your files out. Um, system recovery disks are basically for the system, so that's not much, not much use. Um, so you need to uh, manually back up your files and data. And I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, in order, in order to do a manual backup, you're going to need a flash drive, USB flash drive, or uh, an external hard drive. Now, flash drives are okay if you've, you haven't got much in the way of personal data. Um, but look, nowadays people have huge Im image, uh, like in, my, in your My Pictures folder. Um, you know, you could have many gigabytes of files there. You may have videos you want to back up to, and they're about a gigabyte each. So if you've got large files, probably more than um, about 80 gigabyte, definitely go for an external USB hard drive. Uh, 500 gigabyte is, is the going size and you'll pick up one of those for about 70 or 80 dollars. Um, so uh, yeah definitely uh, go for one of those. Alright so we'll go into, I'll, I'll show you Windows XP first. Uh, we click the start button and we click my computer. Now the drive you're after here, um, most of it, most of you will probably just have the single local disk C drive, right? C is, is most likely what you're after. Uh, but some HP and Compaq uh, computers, particularly laptops, they have different partitions and one might be called recovery and system reserved and that sort of thing. Um, if you're a bit lost and you're not too sure which one's which, just check each one if it lets you in uh, for a start. And the, the folders you're after is documents and settings. All right, so click on, uh, if you've got three disks there, just click each one on and when you find the, the disk that has the documents and settings folder, that's the one you're after. All right, so we click that on. Now my username on this uh, virtual box is administrator. All right, so that's my files in there. Um, if you had several, or if I had several users here, so if Lucy would be called Lucy. Uh, Sally would be called Sally. Um, so your username will be the, will be what the folder is is named and the one you're after. Uh, obviously, if you want to back up an entire computer, then you're going to have to do this what uh, this procedure for each user account. All right. So we click on your user account. Now you'll see your desktop folder there because uh, I'm not too sure if you know or not, but um, your desktop is basically a folder in the system, all right, and that's that's it there. Um, the favourites is your favourites in Internet Explorer, and your My Documents. Now My Documents has got um, uh, your music and pictures as well, which can be large. So I recommend doing your My Pictures and My Music separately if they are big. If they're not big, then just do the whole. My Documents folder, and the way you do it, we'll start off with desktop, and you've uh, have your USB drive plugged in. Basically, you right-click on the folder, and you'll see a Send to menu there. So we mouse over that, and in this section here, you will see your uh, your external drive, and what you want to do is click that on. And what Windows will do then is it will copy the data over to your uh, external drive. Now, uh, obviously this can take some time, especially in um, Windows XP. Uh, so just be aware of that. It, it can tick along for up to an hour sometimes, depending on how, much you've, how many files you've got. Uh, so just be patient. Um, if it's too big, 
like if it's more than uh, about 80 gigabyte in one go I would recommend um, doing it uh, entering that folder and doing folders separately one at a time because right, XP doesn't handle large file transfers very well okay so that's XP and now on Windows 7 and 8 add Vista 2 uh, it's a little bit easier um, you can go to start and we go to computer uh, again same rules as before if you've got several disks there then um, uh, find out which one has got your users folder all right that's the one you're after okay so when you find that disk click on users now you should see your um, username there in this case my username is win 732 VM um, and just take note you've also got a public folder there all right so if you've got any shared public data that's where it'll be um, now for your username never never copy that straight over you want to enter that folder and then you've got all your personal files here all right um, so you want to do them one at a time in the same way with the the um, external drive plugged in we right click and then we go send to and you'll see your disk list listed here and you click that on and it will copy it over and we do that with each one now with Windows 7 it's much better at handling transfer of large data so you should be okay uh, it'll only be a handful of you that will have you know ridiculously huge files but um, most of you will be fine and you can just right click on each one go through and send to your external drive okay so we're all done um, if you have any questions or queries just uh, leave them in in the comments down below and um, I'll answer them for you okay cheers guys